The instructions for wiring, commissioning, and operations of the Fantech Makeup Air System are in the installation manual. For the purposes of demonstration and explanation, here we show the mounting of the included current transducer on the electrical plate of a rangewood liner. The load leg of the exhaust fan speed control is installed into the transducer. However, this transducer can be installed anywhere convenient on the exhaust fan load leg. For applications with load currents less than 1 amp, wrap the fan load leg 2 or 3 times through the sensor aperture so the output will be above 1 amp. The 24 volt transformer has been mounted into the included 4x4 electrical box. The makeup air control has all the DC voltage at the top and AC low voltage at the bottom. Wiring connections shown in this installation are as follows. Power to the transformer, either 120 or 240 volt low voltage wire from the current transducer to terminals 1 and 2. Terminals 3 and 4 are low voltage DC to the EC supply fan. Terminals 5 and 7 are low voltage from 24 volt transformer. Terminals 6 and 8 are for the low voltage connection to the ADC shut off damper Terminals 9 and 10 can be for an optional heater. This is the low voltage going to the makeup air fan, makeup air damper and optional heater if installed. Connect the low voltage wire from the controller to the damper. Note, the connections are not polarity sensitive. Although not required, securing the connections with a small wire tie will ensure the wires stay connected during the rest of the installation. This fan has been wired for 120 volts per the instructions in the fan installation manual. Take off the wiring box cover to access and remove the installed potentiometer. Connect the low voltage DC wire from the controller. Note, these wires are polarity sensitive. Your positive 0 to 10 volt goes to your signal wire, which in this case is the yellow on the connector block. And your negative goes to the blue wire on the connector block. Although your wire colors may be different, the connection should be made like this. Prior to running the system, it is important that all exterior openings, like doors, windows, and if you have a fireplace, the flue damper is closed. Switch off any system that exhausts or supplies air from the outside, such as clothes dryers, bath fans, 
HRVs or ERVs, vented microwaves, heating and cooling appliances and the like. Turn on the power to the exhaust fan, makeup air fan and if installed the heater. On the controller there will be a steady red power light and a pulsing heartbeat LED to indicate the control is energized and ready for programming. Turn on the exhaust fan to high. On the controller push in the high button for a couple of seconds. Adjust the high trim pot to match the exhaust airflow. Turn the exhaust fan to low. On the controller, push the low button for a couple of seconds. Adjust the trim pot to match the exhaust airflow. The control will now proportionally adjust the fan airflow between high and low. Please note it may take a few seconds for the makeup air fan to adjust to the exhaust fan. Now that the system is up and running, it is most important it's balanced. Otherwise, there could be a pressure imbalance at the home, which the system and code was designed to stop. It's recommended that the pressure differential with regard to the outdoors be no more than 5 pascals or 0.2 inches water gauge. Now let's look at a couple of ways to verify the pressure balance. Using a pressure differential gauge, measure the house pressure with respect to the outdoors across a door or window. Turn on the exhaust fan and make a air fan. If the house pressure is positive with respect to the outdoors, slow down the make up air fan using the high trim pot. If the house is negative with respect to the outdoors, speed up the make up air fan using the high trim pot. Repeat this procedure for low speed operation. Also repeat this procedure as necessary until the system automatically operates as required at high, low and all intermediate speeds. If a pressure differential gauge is not available, slightly open a window in the centre of the home and check if the air is moving in or out. If the air is moving out, slow down the makeup air fan using the high trim pot. If the air is moving in, speed up the makeup air fan using the high speed trim pot. Repeat this procedure for low speed operation. As previously mentioned, Repeat this as necessary until the system automatically operates as desired at all speeds. The Fantech Makeup Air System will provide operators peace of mind, knowing that when they use the range hood exhaust fan, they have sufficient makeup air for it to operate properly. And they are not going to have trouble with backdrafting fireplaces or water heaters, drafts under doors and around windows to say nothing of radon or soil gas intrusions. Fantech Makeup Air System. Simply better.